I do need to get out. Over 60,000 babies murdered every year here in Texas. Yeah, it's not something to shake our heads about. I give you one of these? It is something I can shake my head about. It is something that I oppose. Uh -huh. Abortion. I am pro-life. Uh -huh. I'm a pastor at this church. Uh -huh. And uh, even the fact that you would uh, judge my head nod as some, somebody that's opposed to or for abortion is judgmental on your part. Well, uh, usually a, hard, a nod like that. This? Yes, I am. I, I, I'm, I'm totally accountable, and as are you, especially if you're a pastor. You're totally accountable, right? Um, so yeah, can I ask you, you know... You don't I, have any right to record this conversation. Actually, in, in the state of Texas, I do. It's a one-state, one one-party uh, one, one party, uh, compliance state. Um, so, okay. actually, I do. Um, so, but what I wanted to ask you, you yeah. said you're pro-life and you're against this and everything. I'm against abortion, absolutely. Right. Against, against abortion, right. So what is actually does that look like? It means that I am opposed to abortion. Right, right. Uh, that's what I'm asking. What, 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 what does opposition... I mean, I'm opposed to rape. So if somebody was being raped, I wouldn't say I'm opposed to it. I would intervene, interpose. Okay. okay? okay. Um, that's what I'm, I'm asking so what you. Would you. What would you suggest? I can't suggest anything to you. When you... When, you, when God opens your eyes to the fact that we're living in a holocaust... It's horrible, I agree. Right. It's but horrible. if it's if it's, if it's it's horrible, what does... And I ask people this all the time. What what exactly does your Christianity look like in a culture that's murdering... Praying, praying being opposed to it, speaking up where I can, uh, being a voice for life, being right. a voice for education. Uh, we partner with, with pregnancy help centers, mm -hmm. uh, being involved in... in law where and wherever we can being a voice for uh the unborn being a voice for those who can't speak for themselves right, i agree with proverbs just rescue those who are perishing and so i'm not opposed at all to to uh educating people about the horrible nature of what abortion is mm -hmm. and really educating people to what it is because once people know what abortion is uh, they are, I, I find, increasingly opposed to it once they actually see what it is. Now, right. what I'm opposed to would be uh, any kind of an organization that would self-righteously, my perception, uh, assume a church or an organization would be um, anti-pro-life because we're not participating in pro-life. Who said that like, this church like is anti-pro-life? Well, as I was walking by and I said, yes, I agreed with you. You didn't say anything. You just your, nod your, your head. Response was, it's not something to nod your head to, sir. Oh, well, let me ask so you this. I would, have, I would have viewed that as a self-righteous judgment on your part to say that I'm uh, anti-pro-life. Does that make sense? Because I don't want to put words in your mouth. I'm just like, that's that's why I walked back over here. Right. And let me let me ask you. Let me let me ask you. And, and I, again, I ask this all the time. What exactly does your Christianity look? If well, what would you somebody was I, going what would you to, I do. I mean, no. I would like I'd put it on you. What would you suggest I do? There's there's a tons of things you could do. But what happens is is when you repent of your apathy, when you actually look at you're it as I need to repent of apathy. You, you're saying I'm an apathetic person about this subject. About this. Why would you say that? Why do you know that? How do you know? I'm that asking you, and you're 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 telling me, well, we support this, and we support this, and we support this, and I'm against this, and how am I apathetic? How is that? How am I apathetic? Because you know that? what what that sounds like is you have a good moral opinion, and that's good, yeah. right? What would not being apathetic? What should I be doing? I I'll let you answer the question. If that kid was being killed right now. Would you say, you know, I'm against that? I'm, I'm, I'm against that. Right. What so, what I do? What would what would you do? If well, somebody what do you do? if somebody came over and was attacking that kid right now, right? Would, I would you do everything I could to, to prevent that? Excellent. I mean, I, and that's a good answer. That's yeah. the right answer. Okay. But now, what's the difference between that kid there and the th over three thousand that are being murdered every day? So what do I do? 
would you suggest you do? What would you do? What do you do? What do I do? I do uh, standing out here, standing out at the town square, standing out at the school, with somebody standing that, with out. Somebody that agrees with your position. You don't so, agree with my position. So what? What are you suggesting I do besides grab a grab a, a sign like you're doing and tell a bunch of Christians who agree with this position that, that, that you don't agree? You keep and saying today, that. Should be doing more. You keep saying doing. that, but you don't agree. You you do have a good pro-life opinion and position. But unfortunately, I understand what I'm so what you, what I should do beyond what I'm doing. Well, like you said, you're supporting Christ's pregnancy center, which is good. Okay, yeah. but do you, do you know that most of the people that go to Christ's pregnancy centers are people that are not abortion bound? In fact, usually the ones that are abortion determined that go to a Christ's pregnancy are the ones that are sent there from the people that are standing out on the sidewalk in front of the abortion clinic. Okay. You know, what, what we're saying is, if it was your child that was being led to death, I don't know if you have children, but if it was your child, would your response be the same as it is right now? And the same thing is, if it was that child over there versus a child in the womb. Because most people are, you know, sad to say, are ageist. They don't look at a child in the womb with the same value as they do a child that's two years old, right? Yes, that, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, I, so I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't disagree with your pro-life convictions at all. Well, we're not pro-life, sir. We're not pro-life. We're abolitionists. Okay, sorry. Okay, because pro-life yeah. is it okay. seeks to regulate. I don't. I don't disagree with the desire to abolish abortion. Is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I don't agree, disagree with that at all. But what you you've not given me anything pro, anything to do beyond stand at, stand with you. Like no, not stand with me, that, sir. That would be in line with an, what an abolitionist would do. Well, first off, like I don't said, give me some. Give me five things to do. Five things to do. That's that's works, sir. That's like me telling you. Well, it's it's kind of like the well, pro-life movement me, saying if you vote, then you're pro-life. And that's like me saying, oh, if you drop card windows, you're an abolitionist. And that's not true. It's not true. Because if if you actually repent of what is going on, of apathy towards the murder of children. How do you know I'm apathetic? Because I keep asking you, what exactly do you do? And you what keep do you do? I'm asking you. What uh, you do you asked do? me, and I was telling you. What do you? Uh, how do I know you're not apathetic? Just because you, st you stand here with a sign doesn't mean you're you're, you're not apathetic mm -hmm. about the rights of the unborn. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do. Standing here with a sign means nothing about your heart of apathy about it. You can just be being out here because you want to look righteous in front of all these people. I don't know your heart. Oh, so I want to. I'm out here because I want to look righteous. Hey, you tell me. In front of all these people that basically hate us. You, you tell me. Okay. Yes, you can be. Absolutely, you can be. Uh, I, that, that's. That, it's not possible for you to be apathetic. You're saying I'm apathetic and I need to repent. How do How do you know you're not apathetic and you need to repent? Because I'm bearing fruits of my repentance. How is this? How do you? How do I? How do I know that? How do you know that? How does Jesus say we are to judge? We are to judge by the fruit. Okay. Okay. We're to judge. So what's the fruit? But you know, I mean, even fruit? even people with a bad heart can produce uh, good works. Okay, um, but that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about here is I'm putting my faith into action. Okay. Okay, and that's what I'm saying okay. is if because a lot of people putting faith, let me, putting faith to action means you're not apathetic. Okay? No, no. See, you can't see you I can't can see into my heart and say Nor can you. he's not a deceptive person. Nor can and you. right, but what Nor I'm saying you. is. What does your Christianity look like? What does yours look like? I was telling you. Okay. Okay. Right. What does my Christianity look like is I pray as much as I can for God to end abortion. Right. So if children were in that building right there and the building was burning and there were children up there screaming, would your answer be, well, I pray? Okay. If that child over there, little Sterling, I I was getting slaughtered, I, well, beat up right there, yes, yes, would yes. the answer be, well, well I'm no, going to pray? I would move into action, but let me ask you a question. 
are abortions happening in this building? I hope not. Okay, so... But then again, you don't know. Because you can actually go down to Walgreens and buy Plan B and take it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Am I I I correct in that saying? What I'm saying is... uh, Surgical abortions are not happening in this building. No, surgical abortions are not happening in this building. Right. Right. As far as I know. Right. And you being the pastor, I would think you would know that. So the, the, the posture you're taking towards this building is such that i mean i understand this posture in certain contexts in certain circumstances in certain places i say productive and helpful in certain places mm-hmm. i wouldn't view this as a place that i view that as helpful oh, okay. and productive you're free to do it you're absolutely free to do it what, wouldn't you, why would you go to the person that doesn't believe in god and try to tell them the things that god thinks are important you would talk to the person that actually professes to believe in god about the things of god I'm not talking about evangelism here. I'm talking about what we're doing. You, you, as a pastor here, I would say that yeah. you're a professing believer in Jesus Christ. Yes. Sir. Okay. So I can have that conversation with you. Now, if you were a, man, a, a heathen of the world, I could be now evangelizing you. Okay. But that's not what I'm doing here. I'm trying to reason with you, as the Bible says from Scripture. Come, let's talk. Let's reason together. I'm trying to reason. And so am I. Okay, but see, until, believe me, I was like, I was like, I was on staff at a church, okay? I was just like you, all right? I'm pro-life, I vote, I donate money, I fill baby bottles. I was just like you. But then God opened my eyes to the fact that children are actually dying. Over 3,000 a day. Over 60,000 right here in Texas. And we actually had a bill here in Texas. HB 948. Do you even know what it is? I, I don't know right now what that is. I okay. Well, and, and see, that's that's sad because in February, we had a bill. Of you to say. That is sad. Me, but, and I'm going to explain to you why. All right. Okay. Because in February, we had a legislator here in Texas, okay, Tony Tinderholt, who put forth HB 948, which was a bill to abolish abortion in Texas. Totally make it illegal totally prosecute it for what it is and if the feds decided to intercede the state of Texas would defy them and would not even hear them okay now this bill would have been voted on by now abortion could have been illegal last month here in Texas and less than a thousand Christians showed up to support this okay so that's what am I trying to do? He wants the support of Christians to go and oppose and help laws like that get passed. Is that what you're saying? That, that's. We are, see, that's one piece. Okay. That's one piece. That's okay. That's one thing that Christians can do. I'm that's yeah, So you asked me what. Can we do? Yes, that's, that's one thing. thing that okay. Do. That's one thing. All right. Show up and vote for laws like that. Show up. It didn't even get to the vote. See, the Christians. As hard as we, as hard as we tried to bring it to the churches, we stood outside of Emilio's unpopular movie, at not 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 even with signs, just handing out cards about HB 948. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, that is why, as Christians, nobody heard of it. Here's the here's the the challenge that you guys are going to face. You're, you're picketing organizations that would agree with you on so many things. But your problem is, is that you, you, you're trying to do it all on your own solo. Like, you guys have got the answers where uh, you need to build relationships and build friendships and build partnerships. Build bridges. Like that. Build bridges, yes. Jesus talked about building bridges. Mm-hmm. And loving your neighbor. Loving, loving your neighbors, loving your loving other believers, being a part of the church, not being mm-hmm. opposed to the church, being a part of the church. But y'all's posture is we're going to be opposed to, we're going to be contentious with the church, the, the body of Christ, and we're going to be on our own. Now, you're in so dangerous you're, ground. So you're saying you're, that I'm not in the body of Christ? I'm not saying you're not in the body of Christ. I'm saying that you're posturing yourselves opposed to the broader body of Christ, and you're saying this is what uh, zeal for God and zeal against 
unjust laws looks like. Stand with us. And if you're not standing exactly with us, the way we are, when we are, on the street corners that we are, uh, you, you're on the other side. You're See, now, the world. That's the posture that, that you're That's making. false, because you just asked me, what do I do? And I, how many times did I tell you, you don't do what I do. You don't have to do what I do. God will reveal that to you. Okay. And you even said, if we don't stand with you, and I said, not stand very, with me. That's a very charitable posture, but that wasn't the posture that you had when I walked by, and I shook my head, yes, in agreement with you. Because that say. is the normal Christian response. I, you know how many times? Okay. You know how but many is that times? Not a judgmental response. You have no idea what's going on in my heart. You have no idea if I've stood on street corners like mm -hmm. you have, which I have. And I appreciate you coming over and speaking to yeah, me. But I stood on street corners like this, outside of abortion clinics, mm -hmm. uh, Aaron's Women's Center, which is not there anymore. They did surgical abortions for years, and I've stood outside on street corners. I've partnered with other organizations. I've been where you've been, and I agree where there's a place for it. No, no, hear me. But when I walk by, walk to a church that is pro-life. And, I, and you say, sir, there's X number of abortions going on a day. And I shake my head, yes. And then you, you say, in a judgmental way, that, that uh, that's not good enough, sir. Uh, well, you're making a judgment statement. Well, unfortunately, that is the normal Christian response. Okay, but would you agree that that's not a judgmental posture? Would you not agree to that? No, I don't agree at all. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going by what you did. Okay. Okay. I didn't know you. I don't know your heart. Then why are All you I know saying is you do? Because I'm going by your response. Okay. okay. And the normal response to over 60,000 children are being murdered in the state shouldn't be. But you have no idea who I'm talking to. You have no idea my involvement. You have no idea if I'm waking up at 3 in the morning to pray for two hours for the unborn. You have no idea what organizations I partnered with and what I do. You have no idea what... You're, you're making big, huge, broad assumptions about me, about my ministry, about my life, about this congregation. I'm asking you. I keep and I keep asking you. What does Christianity look like in a culture that murders over 3,000 babies every day? See, God never says in His Word anywhere that we are to subcontract out our responsibilities. See, first off, standing up for the unborn isn't a ministry. It's not a calling. It's a, actually a command to love your neighbor as yourself. Okay? And that's why I keep trying to refer to the children over there. Because sadly, that is a problem in the church. That they don't see that child over there as having the same value right. as the child in and the I womb. I do, and I do. I do believe that. Right. And you believe what? That they have the they same have value? The same value. Okay. Um, and that's good. But if they have the same value... So what, so what? If 3,000 of the kids in the youth ministry here or in the children's ministry were being led to death every day, yes. would your response, and it may be yes, but would your response to that be the same as your response to these children being led to death? I mean, it may. I don't yes. know. That's yeah. why I ask. It, yeah, I trust it is. I trust I would have the same response. Uh-huh. So if 3,000 of the kids in your children's ministry were being led to death every day, your response to that would be the exact same response that you gave me as far as the, these kids being led to death. Um, you're, that's that's your what I question, asked you. That's what I asked you. Your question assumes a lot of things about uh, that I couldn't possibly... Well, that's why I, I asked you, and I, and, and that's how you that's how you have a conversation because well, I'm trying. To, your question assumes that, uh, for instance, the, they're going to die in this building in the next hour or something. Obviously, there would be an emergency kind of response to something like that. And that kind of illustration that you just posed. There's a place for radical uh, communication. There's a place for visuals. There's a place for all of that stuff. I'm not saying that that's. So not, this isn't the right place I, and the right time. Then. I don't think this is the right place. I don't think. See, and what you just know, what you just did, and, you know, you, you, you probably really won't agree with me. That, you, but, but what you just did was you gave more value to these kids that are in this church than you did right. to these know, kids what right I'm here. What I'm saying is that this is not this is not a place where abortions are done. That's what I'm to say. I didn't say abortions. I didn't say abortions when I said 3,000 of... You know, I, don't, I don't think you have 3,000 kids in your youth ministry. Okay. So, you know, we're talking hypothetical. 
all right? You would have to be a pretty big church to have 3,000 kids in your children's ministry, all right? Okay. But let's just say 20, okay? If they were going to take the 20 kids in your children's ministry and kill them today, would your response be the same? It, it is horrible. And, and, and unfortunately, well, they moved the picture. This is, this is just as horrible. And in God's eyes, it's the same. So why would our response be different to this than to that? I don't disagree with you. If, you're, if, if the 20 or 30 kids from your children's or youth ministry were being taken to your, their death every day, would our response be that's you know that's terrible i'm gonna fill up a baby bottle with my change so it's not good enough to do the baby bottles i didn't say, that's what you are uh, saying. in and of itself you are saying in and right in and of itself yes i am saying that okay it's that's that's enough. basically would that be your response to these kids being taken out of your church every sunday and put to death would that be your response? Would you think that that would be a good I, I think response? If all that was done, no, I would not personally think that would be a good enough response. That and and that's just done. what I just said. But you're assuming a lot. You're assuming that there aren't any other people doing any other things. Well, I'll, I'll go with what you said. All right, so there's 3,000 of your kids or 20 kids from your children's ministry Basically, being taken you're, out. You're out here saying, this church, we're not doing enough. None of us are doing enough. None of us. Now, I appreciate me, you myself. That because this is not none of us do. are right. doing enough. Right. This isn't enough. You're not doing enough. I know I'm not doing enough. <laughs> just so you, just so we're clear that we might not be doing enough, nor are you doing enough. No, none of us Here's are standing. I, and and I think what you would say is, I would like more people from this church and other churches to join us doing what we're doing. Here's what I would encourage you to do. And I don't want you to join, join us either. Body, body of Christ. We belong to a church. Okay. Okay. That's number one. All right. See now, who's who you assume? We do a home church. What church you want to? We do a home church. Okay. Actually, I'm more dangerous. Okay, so you're the pastor. No, I'm not. You didn't ask me that. I said I'm ordained. I'm not the pastor. I teach. My other brother teaches. My other brother teaches. It's a home church. It's not a church set up like this. Okay. But it doesn't make it any less of a church okay. than this. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But that's not, not what, more, again, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I and mean, we kind of got off track there. I'm not asking you to join me. I'm not asking you to join my... What are you asking me to do? First off, to check your heart. You're, this whole thing is about me checking my no. heart. Can I finish? Sure. Okay. Sure. Don't you, shouldn't you be always checking your heart? Isn't that scriptural? Yes. Okay, so what did I just say? Did I say something that was against scripture? Yeah. And, and I have to check my heart all the time. Okay. I have to check my heart when I'm talking to you. Yeah. Because it's very easy to get angry or to get into the flesh or to do whatever. Sure. And I don't want that because that doesn't bring any glory to God. And then that also makes it that I'm here for the wrong reason. And I, then I shouldn't be here. Okay, but what I'm saying is check your heart. Okay. Just like I have I to check, check my heart. heart. All right. I promise I'll check my heart. All right. And that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Because if you actually search your heart, and if you actually can say that everything that I'm doing for the unborn is what I would do if they were killing, like I said, I, I, I don't know if you have children, but if it would be like me saying, um, everything I'm doing for the unborn, I would do if they were threatening to kill my children. Yes. Yes. If your answer is yes, then, then you're sitting where you're supposed to be yeah. sitting. Yeah. If your answer is no, which like I know what mine was. Say, what is your name? Matt. Matt. What's your name? Rob. Rob? So Matt, what hey, thank I you for say, speaking with me, by the way. I would say, because I appreciate you telling me to check my heart. I'm not opposed to that. I'm a pastor. I encourage people to check their heart and their motives all the time. Excellent. And that's so what... I would likewise mm -hmm. encourage you to check your heart mm -hmm. and ask yourself if you could be doing more for this cause. I already answered that before you. Relationships that I guess I can. Contentious and aren't antagonistic in its nature. You're not I... fostering yourselves as... We're in and you're out. When you pick it, you're saying, you're posturing yourself saying, we've, we're, uh, we're in, you're out, uh, you need to get in. And what you're saying, right, with your very nature, is you're judging, saying, uh, we've got the zeal for God. We don't have the zeal for God. We, we, we are in the place of truth, you're not. And I would encourage you to check your heart. And I would encourage all of you guys to check your heart. I don't know your heart. 
See, now no, here no, you are judging me, and you're judging my motives, no, and you're not. judging what I I'm thinking. I to check your heart about it. I would okay. To check your heart. Because yeah. all that stuff, I'm listening to that stuff, and I, I feel like I, I didn't want to interrupt you, but it, I felt like saying, "Am I being contentious with you? Am I being mean with you? Am I telling you what a rotten person uh, you are?" When I walked by, you sure were. When I walked by, you were being contentious. And I'm telling you why. And I go, I told you why. Okay. I told you numerous times why. Okay. Okay. I, I, when I walked by, because you unfortunately, were unfortunately, and you were th throwing judgmental statements at me. That's the normal response from the Christian you think that's right to child to do that? sacrifice. You think that's right to do that? For, for to people to go like this. Yeah, as a Christian, are we not to okay. judge each other? But that's are we not to judge each other? Inside of a context where you know me, sure. In the context of a relationship where you've had a chance to ask me questions, yes. But just you don't know me from Adam. You're judging me. You're, you're, you're hurling insults at me as I'm walking by. As you walk you by. I, mean, I, would, I would appreciate it. If you're praying for me, I would appreciate that. That's, that would be awesome. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know me. The thing is, you're making statements about me not knowing me. That's the essence of judgment. No, I was questioning your response. I'm questioning. Okay. Your response. Well, we're wasn't I wasn't? That. We're not going to agree on this. But, right. Of course uh, we're not. My name is Rob, and I, I am going to be praying for y'all. Thank you. And I, I do pray against abortion. Right. And, uh, against, and I pray for the education of people about the... nothing short of murder mm -hmm. um, and I uh, am, you know, so I, I believe that there's a place for that I believe the place is in I, I believe that the body of Christ experiences a lot more fruitfulness uh, when we work together and when we uh, in a non-judgmental way seek to build partnerships and seek to build bridges and from my uh, perspective this ministry does not build bridges. Mm -hmm. It says uh, you do it our way, or you're you're uh, you're not doing enough. And, and, and I would and say, and, 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 and how side, many? And could how, look at you and say you're not doing enough. This, if you think this is enough, it's not enough. And this how many times enough. have I told you I'm not telling you what to do? Okay. And I'm telling you not to join us. Okay. All right. This has nothing to do with joining us, and it has nothing to do with. Okay. If you do okay, this okay. and this and this, then you're good. What I, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, what I told you was to check your heart. Okay, I will. <laughs> it, it, and, you know, I mean, if that wasn't, if that was against what God's word says, doesn't agree with God's word, then uh, okay. I, I stand corrected. Okay. But if you can actually search your heart, yes. and again, like I said, answer yes that your response to your children being killed would be the same response to these children being killed okay. well then you and god have a clear conscience yes, good. okay or you have a clear conscience with yes. god um i know i couldn't like i said none of us i'm not doing enough okay. i mean i'm disabled okay i can only give certain amount of hours every day and the rest of the time i'm laying on my back but it's still is that enough no it's not enough Kids are dying. Over three, th I mean, just in this time, we've been speaking for what, 10, 15 minutes? Two every minute died. It's heartbreaking. It's, 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 it's terrible. Yeah, it's, it is. And what, what we're asking is would your response be the same? Okay. And, and, and I actually, you know, I appreciate you talking to me. Yeah. All right. And I appreciate you praying for me. And thank you. Um, all right, have a good day. You're getting to know me a little bit better. Yes, uh, I, I definitely am getting to know you better. Okay. All right, and are you getting to know me better? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, and have a good day.